Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sims Big Brother 2016. I'm your host, Holly Linden. I hope you're doing fabulously, and welcome to the veto competition. I decided I would have half the house. Okay, David's already... <laughs> okay, that's not really fair. That's not really fair. It hasn't started. It hasn't started. It literally just started. I'm going to give David a little bit here. I did the same thing with Jasper because he was so frigged out. And let's work out here. I have... I have no no free will on so the competition hasn't officially started the competition has officially started now whoa shoot i just gotta pay those bills <laughs> i'm gonna have to send somebody outside to pay the bills um sit down Birgitta. sit down this is a pretty simple competition. We're basically, I think for the veto, we're just going to do the same thing we did for the HOH. That's way, that way we don't, we don't uh, forget about things, Oscar. I'm going to give you a little bit of bladder so you don't complain. Same with you, Birgitta. Sit down, please. You're supposed to be watching your, your housemates. Once everybody is settled, I'm actually going to go through and make sure no one's in the red. Sit down, Birgitta. Holy shit. Do what I'm telling you. Actually, what I should do is go through. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I did is I set it up so that um, the three who are nominated are not actually um, playing, although they might. I don't know why Brigitte keeps getting up. Sit the hell down. Um what I based it on was I wanted, since we have 16 house guests, I wanted eight to play in the veto competition. So that ends up being the HOH plus seven others um, who are actually the HOH's closest friends. Now, because this is one of those, this isn't real life. If this were real life, that would be incredibly unfair. But they aren't going to like all the same people. So the people she ends up liking the most right now are Sylvia, Gretchen, Zelda, Jasper, David, Aaron, and Banjo. So we're not looking for anybody. In, for fuck's sake, Birgitta, what is your friggin' problem? Just sit the fuck down. <laughs> this episode's off to a great start, she says sarcastically. Why does she keep sitting up? <laughs> oh, my God, just sit. So, uh, unfortunately... Um, who, who is actually on the block? Who is on the block are Chase, Olivia, and Leonid. So they don't end up getting to fight for themselves. It's all dependent upon the relationships they have with the rest of the people in the house. Now, I've saved Olivia before. I'm just going to let Brigitte do what she wants to do, even though, even though, uh, the, what you call it is totally off. I'm just going to let her do what she wants to do. But I'm actually going to turn off, um, I'm actually going to turn on free will once we get our next point, which it looks like Gretchen is going to give us. Come on, then I can turn on free will, which just means everyone watching is going to get bored and they're going to be like, okay, we're going to leave now. Thanks for this. Bye-bye. <laughs> so we'll turn high free will back on. And we'll see who does what. Everyone's going to take off. Yeah, see? Told you. <laughs> That's fine. They can all leave. I want to I just start the episode with everybody kind of in the same space. You know what I mean? It makes it seem a little bit more balancing the playing fields. So... It'll be interesting. Um, that's what I was saying about Olivia before. In my week one... Oh, Olivia, don't scare people. You're on the block and you can't fight for yourself, you dumbass. That was stupid. <laughs> so, um, oh, Natasha. Natasha. What the hell, man? Don't be mean to people. What was I saying? In week one of my personal play of this same game with these same characters, same house, same everything. Oh, Manuel has given up. Aaron's given up. Zelda and Gretchen have given up. It is down to Jasper and David. Who will be the last one? Who can take it? Who could take the heat? Who can stay in the kitchen or on the treadmill as the case may be? 
Who's it going to be? Oh, David. David won just by a hair. David is going to be the one who decides who gets taken off the block this week. Awesome. And it can go in any direction. That's what I was trying to say, is that um, what had happened, and I'd actually like everybody to go inside. I'm going to lock the doors for like an hour or so, so everyone has to go and get to know each other. Stop being mean. Stop being mean, please. Stop being mean. Everybody in the house. Get in the house. Come on, Olivia. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the house. So you want to get in the house before everybody starts coming back outside and I have to send everybody back. You know, it's just really annoying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to lock the door to everybody just for a little bit. Just for a couple hours. With the illusion of cleaning up the backyard. So we're just going to be playing in this small little space. But Olivia was on the block before. And um, I, I totally got her off the block. I'm going to give you a little bit of energy. I totally got her off the block. She's our slave. I have to give her more than that. Okay. Use the all-in-one bathroom. Clean this one. Clean this one. Um, and repair this one, which takes for freaking ever. Mop up the puddles. What I need you to do after that is serve some lunch for everybody. How about grilled cheese? Let's have some grilled cheese this time. Why not? Manuela? Manuela is the only one who can go. Well, I may, I'm going to unlock this door in a few minutes, I'm sure. She wants to bounce on the trampoline. Um, get a piano skill point. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to clean out the backyard, fix it all up, and then I'll be right back. So I've put everything back into the backyard, and I've also added a little King Domino table, and Manuela actually wants to play it. So where's she going? She's going to go and watch this. No, how about you play Extreme Dominoes with... Mm, I'm going to say Sylvia because she's your friend. I'm going to say Chase because you're currently talking to him. And I'm going to say randomly, let's say Olivia. Let's say Olivia. Why not? Or what she actually, sh shoot, what she actually should do. No, no. Who are the three nominees? Let's get rid of Can. Uh, who is this? Candace. Candace. Oh, you're going to do that. Um, shoot, who did I tell her to play dominoes with? Play... Ex Okie dokie. Is she not gonna... Okay. No, Chase. Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> Chase, Olivia, and Sylvia. I don't want Sylvia to play. Sylvia, you go do something else. Go do something else. But um, I want her to play with the three nominees. That's what I want. God, I'm getting so confused. Can you only play two at a time? That's kind of weird. You can only, How come I can have four chairs around it, but I can only play two at a time? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, once this game is over with, then I guess we'll go do something. But in the meantime, I want you to do something that hopefully will revitalize you a little bit. Hydrotherapy, why not? Why not? And then when you're done with that, have some autumn salad. What is Natasha doing? Natasha is in charge of... She is the house slave, so that poor girl. I really feel for her because I would hate that job. <laughs> so very deeply. <laughs> so very deeply hate that job. You clean up some dishes. Put these away. Uh, you don't need anything here yet. You also need to eat, though. Yeah, you can... Oh, you're about to... Oh, you're going to prepare grilled cheese. Okay, good, good, good. Hopefully someone else will clean up some dishes and that sort of thing. Prepare your grilled cheese, have something to eat, and then you need to sleep. The rest of the day is basically us doing whatever the hell we want to do. Um, the only ones I'm going to be focused on yet again are the slave and the HOH, so Natasha and Manuela respectively. <laughs> And um, hopefully make them kind of happy, which is good. But she's going to have to go. Well, shit, don't sleep. I don't want you to sleep. Um, I need you to uh, da, 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 make the bed. 
make the bed. This really only matters if it's the middle of the day because it's if it's not the middle of the day, it's like, what is the point in making all these beds? Everyone's going back to bed anyway. Whatever. So how are you doing? How are you doing, Natasha? You also need to clean that, which hopefully I will remember by the time you're done this. And I may send you outside, too, so you can clean up all this stuff and pay the bills. That's what the slaves should do, really. It makes the most sense. Oh, Oscar and Gretchen are getting on. That's interesting. They didn't get hearts. I don't remember them getting hearts. They didn't now, but I don't remember them getting hearts overall. Thank you, Leonid. That's one less thing the slave has to do. That's very kind of you. And then Manuela is getting a little bit of her energy up, and then she's going to eat something. And then I'd like you to go downstairs and get to know people. What is this about? Adrenaline rush from being from being daring. Okie dokie. Are Chase and Olivia still playing dominoes? No. Um, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to give that another shot. <laughs> so play extreme dominoes with who is on the block? Chase? Um, who else is on the block? Chase, Olivia, and Leonid. Let's play some dominoes with those three. Hopefully it works. Leonid's already coming out to do so. Come on, Manuela. Eat up. Eat it up. What is this about? Recover like a sports star. Oh, from the bath. Okay. Wonderful. I, it's, it's interesting when you play slower, the things you can actually learn in the game. It, is, it, does, it does fascinate me. Okay, Natasha, clean up your stuff. Here she is, cleaning everything up. Again, poor girl. <laughs> I guess clean it in here for some reason. I don't know why you're cleaning it in here, but uh, I won't question it. Well, I guess I kind of did by pointing it out, but whatever. Now, this Sims, Sims Big Brother, when I started this, it, it started out very differently the way that I had made the characters. The characters are much more realistic the way that we have them now. But back then, I because I have some um, interesting mods and I had the uh, sliders set to something interesting, I, um, I think it was like to double the length or something like that. Um, when I first made these Sims, Elvin, for example, had a huge head. He looked like a bobblehead, and I was going to keep it that way. And maybe sometime I'll do a more short-lived series, however well this goes anyway. Maybe I'll do a short-lived series of Big Brother with just like 10 contestants or something like that, where I literally randomize them completely and only change like their hair, because hair drives me crazy when it gives me shitty game hair, you know? Ooh. Oh, Birgitta and Oscar? Really? I did not see that coming. And Zelda. <laughs> Zelda is doing what those guys were doing at the end of our wedding in Darkwood. <laughs> she's just standing there clapping. I'm going to stop this, though, because she's going to do that forever if I don't stop her. Um, Manuela, are you coming? All right. Coming to play dominoes. Where's Olivia? Come on, Olivia. Olivia, get out of bed. Come play with us. Come on. I know I nominated you three, but this is my way of saying, like, I don't hate you. It's just a game. Don't worry about it. I mean, we may have our differences, but I still care about you. You can't help it when you live with people, but but to care about them. And now I'm looking at the, the skill bars, and I'm kind of thinking dominoes might be a good idea for some sort of a competition, but the game doesn't let you know, I don't think, who has won dominoes or who hasn't, so that's a little bit, that makes things a little difficult. I don't want you to go to bed yet. I need you to go pee-pee. Go rock a piss. And it's only six, so I'm actually going to give you a little bit of energy so you don't feel like going to bed right away, and I want you to play the piano. There are only two I will beef up like that. What are you doing? Are you freaking sleeping? Don't sleep. What the hell? <laughs> she's, um, uh, she's the, uh, you know, she's the slave. She can't be sleeping. You gotta be, I must have accidentally clicked on sleep instead of make a bed, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Make this bed now. But everyone, uh, everyone's going to start kind of going to bed. So it's, it's kind of pointless, really. Banjo and Zelda, really? 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. And Aaron and Leonid are having a pillow fight, and Oscar is sitting there contemplating the hollowness of life. Called it. Um, Jasper and Gretchen are not getting on. Don't know what Candace is about to do. So because we had our veto competition this morning, we actually have our veto, quote-unquote, ceremony, for lack of a better word, um, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. God, I would love to be the HOH in this house, to have a keyboard and an easel, my own friggin' fridge and the computer. I would just sit up here and play Sims all the time. I'd be like, fuck getting to know you people. You're idiots. <laughs> I'm going to give her something she wants, though. Why don't you join Sylvia? Join Sylvia on the trampoline. On the trabampoline. Natasha, what are you doing? You're making this bed, okay? And then you're going to make this bed. Sorry, just the way it is. Try not to be a slave next week because the slave doesn't get to sleep very much compared to the other Sims anyway. Anything else that needs to be cleaned up? Yes, tons of dishes. What about the stove? The stove is fine. Um, how much food do we have? We're doing all right, but we have lots of people in the house. So why don't you serve another dinner of goopy carbonara? And... Uh, Life must be so hard for the slave. Banjo and Zelda are hanging out together. Let's kind of cycle through. Olivia's in bed. Natasha is making beds. <laughs> Candace is talking with David, and they're getting on quite well, which is... Uh, never mind, I spoke too soon. Um, Candace has a really tiny head compared to... <laughs> okay, they were getting on so great. They were getting on so great. Oh, my God. Zelda? Zelda's enjoying a soak in the hot tub. Nice. Leonid's about to go to the bathroom. Sylvia's playing, is gonna play darts. Chase is gonna talk to Candace. Enthuse about garlic. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really random. How do you enthuse about garlic? How did he do that? Oh, because he's a supernatural skeptic. He can enthuse about garlic because garlic... Garlic is not a vampire's friend, and neither is he. So, Gretchen, what are you doing? She's good friends already? Nice, with Aaron. That's fabulous. Brigitta is in bed, and she is hungry, so why don't you wake up? Everyone's going to have to be ready for tomorrow morning. Jasper is flirting with Sylvia. I didn't see that coming. That didn't happen in my play. Yeah, you're going to bed, Manuela. That's fine. David? David's... David's just jumping in. He ain't skinny dipping. Nice. Oscar? He's playing darts, and he's going to go to the bathroom soon. Aaron is talking to Gretchen. Elvin is in bed. And last but not least, Banjo is hanging out in the hot tub. We actually have a lot of Sims up right now. Up and awake. Manuela is in bed. Natasha is making some food. So since when Manuela is in bed, we're going to be focused on Natasha a little bit more. When you're done with that, I'd like to teleport you outside. And uh, you can pay the bills. Pay the bills. Pay the bills. Station break. Break it down. <laughs> Points if you know what song that is without Googling that. If you do, we are friends forever. And I'm just going to throw out all this. For fuck's sake. People getting in the friggin' way. You don't need to be in the way. For <laughs> is how I feel about this. Oh, man. I'm just going to put these in the backyard. and I don't think anyone's going to know how to, to pick these up because... Oh, there we go. Yes, Tiwaga Choo Choo. I know, I know. I'm actually going to clean these up because this is a... Whoa, no. Because this is a little bit... Um, this is a little bit uh, tedious, actually cleaning up all these newspapers. I don't expect... I don't expect Natasha to... Well, I mean, I guess I kind of do. <laughs> she is the slave of the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so Natasha, go use the all-in-one bathroom after you teleport. And then all of these are fine. Let's follow Natasha around a little bit. Zelda's getting something to eat. Candace just came out of the bathroom. We are getting close to the end of episode four here. 
mostly everyone is heading off to bed, which is very, very exciting. And uh, it'll be interesting to see who gets uh, vetoed tomorrow morning. Um, and remember, David is our veto winner today. So he is the one who gets to choose tomorrow morning which of those three come off the block. But if all three of them have a negative relationship with him, then none of them get vetoed and he decides to not use the veto. So that is, um, we're just going to have to see how that goes. So because we're at the end of the night, we basically just have a, a few people who are working their way to bed here. I'm going to close the episode out here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below telling me how you like the series. Um, and which sims you like, which sims you don't like so much. Natasha, I know I sent you to bed. Maybe I didn't send her to bed, but you need to put away these leftovers before you can actually sleep. And then you can have a nice long nappy. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back to you soon with the next one. And it will be... Thursday where we have the veto ceremony in quotes because it's basically just David going up to the one sim that he's going to take off the block and giving him three kind interactions <laughs> so it's not going to be like sitting around and doing I have decided to veto blah 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 it's it's going to be so much less formal than that so much less and now my rooster is crowing so I have to go I hope you're all doing fabulously thank you so much for watching and until the next one bye bye